got too much sugar in it. All right, so today's video is gonna be a q and I did post yesterday on Instagram and on Twitter, I think it was, that I'm gonna be doing today as a Q&A. So you sent all your messages in through Instagram and through Twitter. I'm just gonna scroll through and find the first one. I'm gonna go through one by one, look at your questions on Instagram, and I'm gonna edit this video down to 10 minutes. So if I do miss out your questions that you sent me on Instagram, I do apologize. I can't answer all of them in one time because the video would be like 40 minutes long or something stupid. So what I'm gonna do is do today's video, edit it down to 10 minutes, and then do another video sometime during the week where I answer all the rest of the questions. So the first question is from Modern Poet 6 on Instagram, and they asked, what are your thoughts on Code Orange? What are your favorite melodic hardcore bands? And what have you been jamming lately? Lots of love, Curtis, PMA. So my thoughts on Code Orange, I was actually talking to my best mate Nick about this recently. I think like Code Orange are one of those bands that I personally, if I did have their record at home, I wouldn't like jam it all the time because I'm not that sort of person that listens to that sort of music at home all the time. There are some hardcore bands which I play constantly at home, like Turnstile and stuff like that, but I feel like Code Orange are one of those bands that I just wouldn't play at home, so I haven't got their vinyl. But it doesn't mean that I don't like them and it doesn't mean that I don't think they're an amazing band pushing the genre. Their new track was probably one of my favorite tracks they've done in a long time just because it's so weird and it just stops dead and it goes into these weird like noise scapes weird synth sounds and it's got singing it's got screaming it's got breakdowns it's kind of new metal in parts kind of poppy in parts and i really like that because most hardcore bands are just really basic and really boring as for my favorite melodic hardcore band it's 100 it prevails capture and embrace is the album it is personally my favorite melodic hardcore album ever made. I could play that album every single day and it would never ever get old. It's got the most amazing, beautiful, clean vocals and really, really awesome riffs. As for what albums I've been jamming recently, um, what have I been listening to recently? I'm trying to think. Well, I can show you this, one sec. As for records that I've been jamming recently, yesterday I actually bought this. Can you see that? It's a bit reflecting a bit, isn't it? I bought this. This is a collector's edition of Dam by Kendrick Lamar. And it's numbered on the back here. I don't know if you can see that. And I did ask the matey in the shop whether this was a colored vinyl, because it's not for me, it's a present for my wife, even though I do love this album. The track listings are in reverse, which is kind of stupid and kind of dumb, but at the same time, I've been jamming that recently non-stop, always on my iPod, always when I'm running, just singing along to the lyrics. It's an amazing album. Next question is from Dorian Lightard. I hope I'm not pronouncing that wrong, mate. I'm sorry, it's like X's either side. And they asked, what do you do with people that have a negative influence on your mental health? Try to change them or just let them go? This is a really, really good question, mate. And I think that a lot of people would benefit from hearing from someone that has this to help them move along with it in their life. I'm not saying that I'm a professional. I'm not saying that I'm the best person to come to. I've just been through it myself and I've come across many, many different people that have given me many different insights into my life within my mental health state. So when people come at me like quite rude and quite mean and they, they, they just don't understand this sort of like thing you're going through in your mind, I think it's best to just open up and explain to them because that's gonna sort out your stuff as well as opening up their mind to what mental health is. When someone is mean to you and they say like, oh, it's all in your mind or now nah, I don't think that's actually true what you're saying. I think actually the problem is this. You just have to open up to them. Just say, nah, actually this happened in my past and that really affected me. And every time I see that certain thing or every time I do that certain thing, it really sets off a fire inside my belly and makes me angry. Or you can say, whenever this happened in this part of my life, it makes me feel like I'm really scared and I want to hide away. Do you understand what I'm saying? So if they are really Really rude to you if this person is going to be really really horrible and really angry and really just spiteful I just completely eliminate that person from your area or maybe you can leave that environment and try to get away because that environment is just going to be very very dark and very horrible for you so I would just try and avoid that hope that answers your question mate next question is from Jamie Owen Parker on Instagram and they ask what's your response slash answer to people that question or don't understand you being vegan or straight edge I did answer this in my straight edge vegan videos a while back, but it's always good to update you on how I'm feeling because I think as you grow up, your feelings change on straight edge and on veganism. So when people question my straight edge or veganism, I again, just open up and talk to them and tell them how I feel and start a discussion. If I feel like they wanna hear it or they wanna be a part of that discussion. If they don't, if again, if they're just being rude, then I would try and eliminate them from my area or I would try and leave that environment which I've put myself into because if I'm going into their space and their friendship group, they're being aggressive to me, then maybe you just need to leave that. You know what I mean? Whereas if they've come into your area and they're being mean to you, 
that's when you need to sort of open up to them and maybe ask them if they would like to be involved in the conversation. If someone questions me about my veganism, for example, is I, I would always respond in the same way. I would just say that veganism is something that I've been a part of from a very long time and I love animals and I don't want to hurt them and I don't want to be a part of that system. As for straight edge, I think it's a little bit more difficult to explain because that's in some countries a huge culture which is the underlining for every social situation where people meet up and they become friends because of drink, you know what I mean? That's a little bit harder to explain to people. If someone asked me about straight edge, I would just personally say that I don't drink and I don't smoke and I don't take drugs. I wouldn't really say anything else. So if they asked why, I could just say that it's not my thing, never was really into it, you know? I, I don't have to explain the whole straight edge scene or something like that. But if they do ask about it, if they directly ask me like, why are you straight edge? that's when I would communicate with them about the history of 90s hardcore or stuff like that or where it comes from. But if they just ask me why I don't drink or why I don't take drugs, then I would probably just say, cause I'm not really into it. Next question is from that person because I can't pronounce that name. I'm really sorry. I know some of these names are probably seeming like super easy to pronounce, but I have a little bit of a problem with that sort of stuff. So the next question is, if you could know the absolute and total truth to one question, what question would you ask? Cheers from Mexico. That is an awesome question. One of the best questions I've ever got. I think if I could know the absolute truth to one question, it would probably be, it's really, really difficult to think about that sort of stuff because obviously as I move through my life in this certain period in my life within my thirties, I've definitely become more aware and self involved with my mind and looking deep inside me and thinking about spirituality and thinking like stuff like that. So I don't know if I would like to know that because that's almost a part of it for me to have faith and to believe in certain things. I think I would like to know certain things within that realm, so within spirituality and with, within my body, and I would like to know how my body communicates with me. If, does that make sense? If I was to know some truths about myself, I would like to know how my body works and how my how eating certain things would work within my body and how that would uh, change into energy, and I would like to learn that. I guess that doesn't really answer your question, but I couldn't think of an absolute truth. Sorry, mate. Next question is from JC Weaver on Instagram and they asked, what's your favorite way to eat potatoes besides chips? Potato wedges, waffles, smiley faces, alphabetties, mashed potatoes. That's, that's about it. Next question is from Cameron Jones 125 on Instagram and they asked, did you go to uni? If so, what did you study? Good question. I didn't go to uni. I did go to art college for a little bit and I did study and I did do some paintings and little characters and that's maybe what you've seen within my Instagram or Insta stories feed. I did go to a uni interview. I really wanted to do fine art, but they didn't let me in. So I just started work at 16 and then played in a band for ages. So no, I didn't go to university, but I did try to go to university and I wanted to study fine art. Next question is from Richard so far on Instagram and they asked, recently got myself into noise music. Any recommendations also would you recommend some great spots in Berlin where people can buy some cheap records so as for getting into noise music my recommendations would probably be something like Bone Owl. Then you've got stuff like obviously like Purian and The Rita. You've got so many noise bands. I'm just going to put a few up on the screen because I can't really think right now because I've only just got up and I haven't even had my tea or my breakfast yet. So I'll link some below for you, mate. Next question is from Robbie X Goff on Instagram and they asked, this is going to be the last question by the way. They asked, do you think you'll be straight edge for life? Question mark. Would anything make you want to stop being edge? Right, a lot of people have asked me this in the past and a lot of people probably will ask me this again and again and again. Whether I think I will be straight edge forever or whether I think that something will stop me being straight edge or whether I've accidentally had some alcohol, whether I have alcohol in my food and my spaghetti bolognese, you know, stuff like that. People ask me this stuff all the time. As for being edge for life, there was a little part in my life actually like a year ago where I thought, I'm gonna stop being edge. I, I'm not a part of this system anymore. I'm not a part of, this doesn't communicate with me anymore and I don't wanna be a part of this like aggressive thing that's going in, on in my mind. But then I realized that straight edge actually saved me and without straight edge, I wouldn't be the person I am today and without straight edge, I don't think that I would have ever got through some situations that I've been through in the past, like breakups or going through some really turbulent times with my mind. I know that other people probably would have turned to drink and with drugs. And the reason I'm gonna be straight edge for life is because family members and friends that have died or that have been through really, really sick and turbulent times in their life because of drink. And they are reliant on drink. They have to get up and they have to drink to be normal. And I never wanna be in that situation in my life. I don't think that's a, a good thing for me. So yes, I think 
and I would love to be straight edge for life. Obviously, I don't know what the future holds for me, but I want to be straight edge for life, and I'm very, very confident that I will be straight edge for life. I mean, I'm very confident, confident enough that I've put it all over my body. I've got like drug free on my knuckles. I've got XVX here, X's on my ears, triple X on my legs. So it's going to be expensive of a break edge, right? I'm going to have to get all that covered up. So yes, I want to be straight edge for life. Right. I'm gonna eat my breakfast now, it's just sitting here getting cold, so I'm gonna be doing another one of these Q&As next week, so if you do have any more questions for me, comment below in the comment section, or you can comment on Twitter or Instagram. I don't have Facebook anymore, so don't bother. The, probably the best thing to do is comment below here though, and get your questions down there, and I'm gonna answer them next week within a vlog. Thank you very, very much for all your questions, and see you soon. Cheers.